I don't know how to title this no other way than this. Disrespectful baby mama's boyfriend. If you have, and this could be disrespectful baby daddy's girlfriend too. So I'm just going on premise right now. If two people have a kid, doesn't work out. And they go their separate ways. They're going to move on and be with other people. Somebody else is going to eventually be around them kids. Just in proximity, it's just going to happen. Now, how can I put this? If a chick tells you something about her son's daughter's father and you believe her you've never spoken to this guy you don't know shit about this guy you don't know shit that went down before you started your relationship with this girl and you start to disrespect this guy I'll tell you something it's you because I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you why You might not like how somebody's treating somebody that you have feelings for. But there's two sides to every story. And nine times out of ten, if you got two people who are good people, who understand that, you know, everything, you know, things fall apart, things don't work out, they can move on with other people and not disrespect that other person, even if they don't like them. But if you walk around disrespecting the other person while they're not there, Two problems you got. Yo, you out here as a goddamn guard dog. Going at some guy about his kid. Being disrespectful about to a guy about his kid. You put yourself in a line of fire. Because she told you to. And you blind to the fact that that shit could get you killed. Why? Because now you're standing as a barrier between a father and their child because she says so. And by the way, what if she's lying? What if she told you the truth you needed to hear and you have to figure out the truth that you should have known? Because it's two different things. So now you out here talking reckless, doing reckless shit. I'm more father than, yeah, don't, don't say that shit. You know, I'm more of a man than you are. Don't, don't, don't do that shit. I take care of your kid better than you do. Don't want you to do that shit. Because look, what happens when y'all break up? You, 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 you still dad? Mm -mm. You, you, you put yourself in other man's shoes like, I know how this chick works. You temporary. It happens. It happens. Everybody who's been with somebody who had a kid understands that, you know what, if you ain't, you know what I'm saying, if y'all ain't get married, eventually that motherfucker gone. So, you can play daddy, but you might have, you, you better respect daddy. If you don't, you fucked up. And besides, why would you be with somebody that, and, 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 and Here's the opposite of that. You could be with somebody who disrespects their child's father. You could tell them behind closed doors, look, child, stop doing that shit. That's not cool. So you, you, you put me in this mix. I understand. Guys like that, I get you. I, I ain't talking about y'all. I'm talking about the guys who just say, yeah, yeah, I'll fuck them up when I see them. I've been taking care of this kid. Whoa, it ain't your responsibility to be doing that. Matter of fact, if this girl is taking child support from this guy and... You providing for this child, and you ready to fight him? She's playing you because her anger toward him, you the you the she's sticking you on him as with her misplaced anger. Now you're not really a man thinking on your own. You are her attack dog. And what if she don't need that attack dog no more? And another thing. 
if she's this adamant and this mad about him all the time, and it's just got to be drama all the time, how much you want to bet she still like him, love him, want to fuck him, make another baby with him? I mean, when you let somebody go, you let them go. Let them go. Everybody you meet don't have to know that, you know, you, you might not like them, cool. But y'all ain't got to argue every time y'all see each other. Y'all ain't got to fight every time y'all see each other. Y'all ain't got to have two-hour text message, you know, tirades and emails and conversations. Let him go. And if, and if they doing it while you there, realize that's taking away time away from your relationship. So stop being disrespectful to the guy that probably, to a degree, got you together. Because if you didn't have, if she didn't have somebody to hate, would she still like you? If you wasn't her attack dog, would she still like you? Nine times out of ten? Nope. I'm just saying.